weekend, fellow RC enthusiasts. It's your host, Tom Cogswell, here from Horizon Hobby and Spectrum RC, here for another NX tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to be walking you guys through something that you would want to do with your NX10s or NX8s or NX6s right when you get them out of the box like I am here. I finally got my NX10 and you guys should be getting yours soon if you haven't already. And this is the first thing that you're going to want to do and you're going to want to update it. Now, if you do have Wi-Fi and it connects to it and updates over Wi-Fi, great. Go ahead and do that. But if you're having trouble with it and it's doing the whole thumbs twiddling thing and it gets stuck on that screen, go ahead and follow along with this video on how to update your NX radio via the USB cable. Let's go ahead and unbox my NX10 here real quick and we can get started. I've been waiting for a long time for this guy here. Just like you guys, I've been waiting for it. Um, ooh, we got stickers, those are nice. There's the back. Oh, we got a new lanyard, that's cool. A little tool. And the USB cable that we're gonna need. So let's just go ahead and put that here. And we'll pull our NX10 out of the bag. Okay. And some uh, reading material for the night. Okay. So just like it says here on the screen, we do recommend for the best experience to update your radio. I'll go ahead and pull that off, I don't need that. First time we're powering on this puppy. All right, ooh, feel those gimbals. Wonderful. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with the USB update. To update your NX radio via the USB, you will need a computer. Um, a Windows PC or laptop is preferable. You will need a USB cable. Luckily it comes with one, but if you do need a USB cable, a regular data transfer uh, USB cable will do the trick. Essentially what you're gonna be doing is, just like if you are familiar with the uh, DX radios, you're gonna be registering your radio online on the Spectrum RC website and you're going to be downloading the update there. I'll walk you guys through that in detail as best as I can. So the first step that you're gonna to wanna to do, and one thing that uh, I'll, I'll make a quick note here is if you're having trouble with the, uh, the thumbs twiddling Wi-Fi update, to turn it off, you will want to hold the power button for over 10 seconds or so. So just keep on holding it until it powers down if you get stuck on that screen. I'm not stuck on that screen. I'm just gonna go ahead and update it via USB. Okay, so now that you've got your radio booted up and you're ready to connect it to your computer for USB data transfer, the first step is to go to the USB settings menu. That's found in the system setup list. So just click, scroll down to system setup, go to yes, and then scroll down to USB settings. You're gonna click on access internal storage. Essentially this just puts this radio into this mode and you'll be able to connect it to your computer. All right, now that you're here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull up our computer, we'll plug in our USB cable into the back of the radio, and then you're going to connect it to your computer and it'll see it as a USB device. We'll then register our radio and download the update. So follow along on my computer screen so you guys can see how that's done. So we're gonna go ahead and plug in our USB cable. Just plug in your USB cable like this. And if it's one of the magnetic ones, you, you can use that too. It does transfer data just fine. All right, so now that you've got the USB cable plugged into the back of your radio, just like that, we're gonna plug in our USB cable into our computer. Just pick an open USB slot on your computer. And then once you've plugged in your USB, it should just pop up like this, showing all the things that are already preloaded onto your NX radio. One cool thing is you can actually play around with the bind and fly and templates here, if you'd like. I covered that more in another USB menu uh, tutorial. If you guys are interested in that, go ahead and check that out in my description below. And then the My NX10 file. This is important. You'll want to remember that for our next step. So now that you've got it all plugged in, it's ready to transfer, we'll go to our internet browser. I personally am using Chrome. Once you've got your browser open, you're going to go to the Spectrum RC website. Spectrum RC.com. Once you're at the Spectrum website, 
I normally just go to Spectrum, or Support rather, up here in the corner, and click on My Spectrum. And you're going to want to log in or create an account. I will just go ahead and log in. And then you're gonna to go to register new product right here. You'll see all my sensitive data. Hey, you know where I live now. I might just block that out. Once you're on this page, you'll scroll down and you go to about my product. And you're gonna scroll through until you see the NX of your choice. Mine's an NX10. And then you can upload from that my NX10 file. This is an easy way to just put the serial number here. Select, it'll pull up your browser, go to the USB drive, and click on My NX10, right there. Hit open, and then you're gonna click Upload from XML File. Great stuff, it's just gonna go ahead and automatically populate the serial number here for you. Super handy. You can give it a registration nickname if you like. I'm gonna call it My First NX10, and then if you want to fill in the rest of the stuff you can, you don't really need to. Next part is to put in this CAPTCHA code, PJA48X. These CAPTCHA codes are case sensitive, so just be aware that you're putting it in case sensitive, and you can reload it if you like. Register. All right, it's registered. So I'm gonna look for that NX10. I like using the registration nickname because then I just look for that as I'm going through it. There it is. Download. You probably don't have as many of these as I have, but here we go. And then you're going to look for the NX10 update 3.0.03 or higher. You'll hit download on that and it's going to download it. Normally the download will appear in the bottom left hand corner or you'll get a notification in the top right corner if you're using Firefox, things like that. Just know that it's going to automatically download it once you hit that download button. If it's Chrome, super simple. You just click on this little arrow here and go to show in folder. I find that to be extra helpful. And then I'm gonna copy it. So if you press Control C or if you right click and hit copy, that's great. And then go to the USB drive and paste. So right click and hit paste. It's gonna save that into your NX10. Give it a moment to do so. Once it's there, if this file is named anything else than spmtx.sax, the best thing to do, and this makes it automatic, is to change it to spmtx.sax. So in my case, I'm just gonna backspace and clear out the four with parentheses there. So to rename something, it's really simple. You just tap there and normally it'll pop up a little uh, text bar there or you can right click and go to rename. So once again, make sure that it's named spmtx.sax. At this point, you're done with your computer. You can unplug the USB cable and we'll go down to our radio. Okay, and here's the easy part. Now that that file is on there and it's named appropriately, simply just turn off your radio and turn it back on. It'll see that that update file is there in the root directory because we just copied it right onto the, that essentially the first folder that you see with the uh, spmtx.sax file and it'll start updating the radio. Give it a few moments to do that and then it'll be up to date and you'll be good to go. This update actually fixes some of the uh, Wi-Fi bugs that we've been running into with the first round of firmwares. Um, if you're watching this video later on, that probably won't be an issue, but if you guys are getting uh, an NX10 or an NX8 or an NX6, we do recommend that you update it over USB for the first time. All right guys, thanks for watching this video. If you have any other questions or comments, feel free to let us know in the comments below. This is Tom signing off. Thanks for watching.